up next, we have a really, really fun segment. This is going to be uh, all hands on deck. Yes. Totally interactive, and it's really, really awesome. This is Video Game Pub Trivia. There it is. Yeah. Um, they've done specials. They've done a lot of stuff uh, at, at actual uh, Super Mag Fest, mm -hmm. and they've been around... Um, they're always bringing just the deepest deep cut. The deepest of cuts. Yeah, right? it's it's some and great you can speak stuff. On, you can speak to that. Dax oh, deep cuts. We, get, mm. we may be featuring some deep cuts the later. Deep I don't cuts, know. Man. But um, everyone can play via Twitch. It's going to be a huge amount of fun. Oh, and you mean I could hop in there too? Except Robbie, not Robbie. Well, but I know a little bit about, all I know of you about guys. Like, Week of Garfield. I know all right, about let's, just, let's just cut to them. He's going to just keep naming. Adventures. I, yeah, I know right, a lot of yeah. these games, actually. Great. We'll see you guys there. Okay. Hello, MagWest 2020, or as we like to call it, MagWest Int, because it int this year. Hope you are all doing well this evening. Welcome to MagWest 2020. It is a great night for some fun video game pub trivia. This is going to work a lot like the pub trivia you'd find in your local establishments. Uh, how this works is it'll be 11 questions, there'll be 9 general trivia questions split up into 3 rounds of 3 questions each. Then I'll give a ha a kind of multiple answer, halftime type question, and then we'll do a final type question where you'll be putting some things in order for me. Are there any prizes? No. And also, are, are there going to be any worrying about scores or anything? Nah, you can do that on your own. It would just take a lot more time than I think we have tonight to do to keep track of everyone's scores, so keep track of your own score. Brag, brag later. This is more to find out whether or not you are, in fact, the, the guy with the trivia knowledge that you are, or gal, or, or other, if you'd like. So make sure this, I, I would say just try to not do this without looking at it, try to do things without looking anything up, because it's just a lot more fun that way. And also, uh, make sure, we're, uh, don't just put answers in the chat immediately. Later, absolutely, you can certainly do that, but don't put answers in the chat immediately. Yeah, it looks like we can't wait for this trivia, so we are going to get right into it. With our very first round, the first round point is our 5, 3, and 1. 5, 3, 1. By the way, music tonight going to be coming from some of your favorite, uh, some of your favorite uh, MagFest and MagWest stars, as well, as well as some other music that I have uh, that are kind of... I don't know, adjacent to all that. Your first round, point value is going to be 5, 3, and 1. 5, 3, 1. Use each of those once and only once per round, by the way. 5, 3, 1. Here are your categories. For round number... I think we're good. I think we're back. I think we're back. Seriously? Are we back, everyone? Hold on. Are we back? Okay, awesome. We're back. All right. So, first round, voice actors, last releases, and lyrics. Again, voice actors, last releases, and lyrics. Here's your question. In the category of voice actors, about three to four minutes. Turn in your answer, by the way. Voice actors. Which iconic actor provided the voice of the titular character during the 1990s Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon? Once again, which iconic actor provided the voice of the titular character during the 1990s Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon?
question in the category of voice actors. Voice actors. Which iconic actor provided the voice of the titular character during the 1990s Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon? No, I am very sorry it was not Danny DeVito. Could you imagine Sonic sounding like Danny DeVito? All right, got to go fast, everyone. My Danny DeVito sucks. Your correct answer, Jaleel White. Jaleel White is your correct answer. And yes, if you were wondering which Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon during the 1990s, both of them. It was both of them. Here is your question in the category of last releases. Last releases. What was the name of the last game released as a physical cartridge for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? Once again, what was the last name was the, was the name of the last game released as a physical cartridge for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? As a note, we are looking for official release from Nintendo, not something that was modded to another physical cartridge by someone else. Again, physical release by Nintendo for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. One minute, one minute remaining. We'll go ahead and cut this song a little short. One minute.
let's go ahead and get all those answers in. All right, your question, the category of last releases. Last releases. Which one, McBall? That's the question. Which one? What was the name of the last game released as a physical cartridge for the Super Nintendo? It was not a Final Fantasy game. It was not Mario is Missing. We're talking a video game. Not Mario is Missing. That doesn't count. Song is from Fire Emblem. The correct answer released January 21st, 2000. That was Fire Emblem Thracia 776. I haven't heard of it either. Fire Emblem Thracia 776. Your correct answer. Here's your question. The category of lyrics. Lyrics. I'm giving you the year that a song was released and a lyric from said song. Give it a title. Again, a lyric. A a year and a lyric. Give it a title. That year is 2016. Your lyric. Without a sign... Without grasping yet, the real question to be asked, where have I been? Once again, 2016 is the year, the lyric, without a sign, without grasping yet, the real question to be asked, where have I been?
WWF Network might be on to something because, yeah, that would absolutely be. Your question, the category of lyrics, 2016, the year. The lyric, without a sign, without grasping yet, the real question to be asked, where have I been? I'm very sorry. It is not Ice Cube's Today Was a Good Day from 1993 because the lyric was from 2016. Your correct answer, Beneath the Mask. Beneath the Mask is your correct answer. We're going to go ahead and move on to round number two. Round number two, Point Leo is now up to 6, 4, and 2. 6, 4, and 2, good for round number two. And here are your categories for round number two. Code names, movies, and science. Science! Once again, code names, movies, and science. Science! Here's your question, the category of code names. Code names. What popular character goes by the code name Killer B? Once again, what popular character goes by the code name a Killer B? One minute, one minute remaining.
category of code names. What popular character goes by the code name of Killer B? Killer B. Well, as we like to say in the pub, everyone will raise your glasses and take a sip. No one got it right. Killer B is an older character from probably the early to mid 90s. She's a fighting character. It is Cammy White. Cammy White is your correct answer. Thank you, Nani, for that link. Thank you, Nani, for that link. Yes, go check out Master Sword. I love those guys. <laughs> Here's your question in the category of movies. Movies. What is the tagline for Final Fantasy? The spirits within. Easy, and maybe they're right Far worse than lions and bears She's cursed with visions at night They tell her you've got a destiny Somebody you're supposed to be Far from the small town There's answers waiting to be found So she lies awake Thinking there's been some mistake Crying her eyes out Begging for help She's shouting Marches onward, cruel as can be. Stuck in the real world, nothing comes free. Sick of the questions, sick of the fight. She tries to smile and pretend, denies the voices at night. They tell her you've got a destiny, somebody you're supposed to be. Far from this small town, there's answers waiting to be found. So she lies awake Thinking there's been some mistake Crying her eyes out Begging for help she uh, just, to, just to be uh, sure My mic should be working now Hello everyone Mic should be working Feeling, feeling Falling apart
question in the category of movies. What is the tagline for Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within? Oh, John Lush, John Lush should, follow, should follow. Thanks for that link there, by the way. Tagline, Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. No one came up with it. I wasn't expecting anyone to. Your correct answer, Unleash a New Reality. That John Lux, thank you for the follow. Unleash a New Reality, your correct answer. By the way, the actual correct answer that's not listed on here is, Oh my God, who the hell cares? I'd take either one of those, actually. Your question in the category of science. science! Mega ran with a huge raid on the, on the MAGFest channel. Enjoy the rest of trivia. Question of the category of science. What was the name of the virtual pandemic that struck the world of Warcraft in 2005? Once again, what was the name of the virtual pandemic that struck the world of Warcraft in 2005? That's not the song I wanted to play. Nearly blew right by in my hurry to the subway when I heard someone say, Isn't autumn lovely? As I stopped to observe, this was correct to the proprietor. Couldn't help but inspect the Fulton table by the railing laden with her goods. Ashtrays made of metal, little angels made of wood. Hand mirror with the handle broken, still pretty nice. While wart to charge telephone trays to make ice. The advice of my neighbor, go ahead, take your time. We'll negotiate a price on whatever you find. And then shining in the detritus, I saw the brightest flash of something precious began to feel the slightest little tingle in my innards i was like what's that and then her bare tooth chuckle it's a buckle for a strap on a hat like a lady wears to court or church but it holds a special property i'll tell you how it works it was a stoop sale which is a garage sale if you lived in brooklyn which i do and at the stoop sale which is like a yard sale so that it's in brooklyn i got my due it was a stoop sale which is a garage sale if you lived in brooklyn which i do and at the stoop sale, which is like a yard sale, so that it's in Brooklyn, I got my due. Somehow I knew she was serious, I reached to pick it up, but she stayed my hand. Her reprimand, it was abrupt. Hey, this little trinket, she said, grants wishes. It can make anything you ever eat delicious. It can take away concerns so you can sleep at night. Can make the love of your life and you reunite. Can right wrongs done in your past or in your future. Make a winner out of whoever, whoever owns it, roots for. But it only ever does one thing. As you take possession of it, that's the wish to which it clings. So choose very carefully before we make a deal. If there's anything impossible, you want to make real if there's anything improbable you'd like to assure well it will happen that's when you have to endure the regret that a company said decision making all the other wishes in the world that you've forsaken at the stoop sale which is a garage sale if you lived in brooklyn which i do and at the stoop sale which is like a yard sale so that it's in brooklyn i got my due it was a stoop sale which is a garage sale if you lived in brooklyn which i do and at the stoop sale, which is like a yard sale, so that it's in Brooklyn, I got my due. Could it be true? I wondered as I stared at the glass. Would some skills on the microphone be too much to ask? Had a couple dark notions that involved revenge. Fame, glory, money, people love me, and it never ends. Shook these from my head like there was so much sleep and thought instead i pretend that I was so much deep as to offer every human in the world true peace so that we never kill each other, never get cooties, and never go hungry, suffer shelterlessness. This generosity I felt compelled to dismiss by my greed. To see an old friend back living, if I go the wrong direction though, could I ever be forgiven while i stood daydreaming somebody got a hold of this little brass buckle and he must have been so old as to put it in his pocket without it getting caught saw him do it he was wishing that he wouldn't get caught all at the stoop sale which is a garage sale if you lived in brooklyn which i do and at the stoop sale which is like a yard sale so that it's in brooklyn i got my due it was a stoop sale which is a garage sale if you lived in brooklyn which i do and at the stoop sale, which is like a yard sale, so that it's in Brooklyn, I got my due. Why, yes, that was Stoop Sale by MC Frontalot. And here is your question in the category of science. <laughs> Mainly because I didn't want to just call it pandemics, you know. What was the name of the virtual pandemic that struck the world of Warcraft in 2005? 
I don't think I saw really any wrong answer there, so I will raise your glass. Take a sip, because y'all got that one right. Corrupted blood. Corrupted blood is your correct answer. Always got to have science in there, Aiden. We're going to go ahead and move on to round number three. Round three, point that is up to seven, five, and three. Seven, five, and three, good for round number three. Here are your categories for round number three. Music. Movie line and nicknames. Once again, music. Movie line and nicknames. Here's your question, the category of music. Music. Which musicians were behind the hit song, Pac-Man Fever? Once again, which musicians were behind the hit song, Pac-Man Fever? about one minute, one minute remaining. Music. Which musicians were behind the hit song Pac Man Fever? No, it was not the B 52s, nor was it the B G's or the B Tolls. There is a B involved, but it's just the beginning of the first name. It was Buckner and Garcia. Buckner and Garcia, your correct answer. They also did the Wreck It Ralph, uh, one of the Wreck It Ralph songs, Wreck It, Wreck It Ralph. Fun fact! Here's your question, the category of movie lines. It's going to be just like the lyrics, except we're talking about a, a, a line from a movie. So I'm going to a year and then a line from a movie. Give me the title. A year and a line. Give me the title. Odyssey, Eurobeat with the raid of the channel. How's it going, Odyssey? The year is 2000, uh, 2020. The line. Okay, okay. Everything is fine. You played a little baseball, got a little upset, lightning shot out of your butt, and now they're coming for you. Once again, 2020 is the year. Looking for the movie that goes with this line. Okay, okay. Everything is fine. You played a little baseball, got a little upset, lightning shot out of your butt, 
Now they're coming for you. software started rolling a little low on time your question the category of movie line 2020 is the year the line okay okay everything is fine you played a little baseball got a little upset lightning shot out of your butt now they're coming for you uh everyone can raise your glasses and take a sip because y'all got that one right that of course was sonic the hedgehog Yes, Sonic did make it into Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog is your correct answer. It's actually not a terrible movie. I expected way worse. It was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. Here's your question in the category of nicknames. Nick names. Notch is the world-famous designer of which video game? Once again, Notch is the world-famous designer of which video game? A video game.
question the category of nicknames. Notch is the world famous designer of which video game? I know he's probably not been on it for a while, and we won't talk about what the guy is, but he is your correct, or an correct answer is Minecraft. Minecraft is your correct answer. We're moving on to our halftime multiple answer question. There's going to be a few answers for this question. Five, you, there's, you need to give me five of them. You give me five of them. You're going to get one long song to answer. It'll be about five minutes or so. Again, give me five answers. You get two points for each correct answer to keep for yourself. Your halftime question, the category of Dungeons. Dungeons. Name five of the seven crystal dungeons from The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Once again, name five of the seven crystal dungeons from The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. One minute, one minute remaining.
All right, your multiple answer question category of dungeons named five of the seven crystal dungeons from The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I'll go really quickly here. We'll just read them off the screen. The first one was the Palace of Darkness, followed by the Swamp Palace, then Skull Woods, Thieves Town, the Ice Palace, and Misery Mire, and Turtle Rock. Pod Swamp, Skull, Thieves Town, Ice, Misery Mire, and Turtle Rock are your correct answers. Moving on to now our final question of the evening. Final question Final question works a little bit differently. Hey, look, that's not what I wanted to put up. Hey, buttons. Where are my buttons? Well, you know what? Heck it. There's your final question. You're betting, you're betting 0 to 15 points putting those things in order. Your final question this evening. Put the following direction, directors in order based on their first directing credit from earliest to most recent, based on their original release date of those games. Again, put the following directors in order based on their first directing credit, earliest to most recent. Shigesato Itoi, Shigeru Miyamoto, Masahiro Sakurai, and Takashi Tezuka. Put those directors in order based on their first directing credit. They were credited as a director, earliest to most recent. Shigesato Itoi, Shigeru Miyamoto, Masahiro Sakurai, and Takashi Tezuka. You got two songs. Answer carefully, wager wisely. Good luck, everyone. song down you've got one more to go you've still got some time a good luck everyone remaining.
minutes. One minute remaining. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. I hope you guys had a fantastic time. I know it's not the same uh, not being together, but you guys are all awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. I know a lot of you are getting ready for the great uh, concert we have coming up. Wreck the System, Button Masher, and The Runaway 4. Wreck the System is up next. They, should, they are going to be awesome. I do have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash purpling33. I also have a, a Twitter and YouTube. Both of those are very, very quiet. Twitter just basically says when I go live and YouTube is whole oh, I've I did a month of content this year I did nothing in 2019 so yeah and thank you very much to MAGFest and MAGWest for having me back it was great being at MAGFest last year hope we could do it again uh, this year all of our answers are in scores have not been tabulated because I haven't been doing that and we have not a winner your final question this evening in the category of directors, put the following directors in order based on their first directing credit, earliest to most recent. The first one was in July 9th, 1981. That game was Donkey Kong. That was Shigeru Miyamoto. The second one, February 21st, 1986, along with Miyamoto on The Legend of Zelda, that was Takashi Tezuka. The next one, that was July 27th, 1989. A little game we call Mother. That was Shikasa Toy Toy. And the last one was April 27th, 1992. Kirby's Dreamland. That was Masahiro Sakurai. Once again, thank you guys all so much for joining me tonight. We're going to be heading off to uh, to our friends Dak and Robbie. And, of course, stick around for the great concert tonight. Again, Wreck the System coming up next. Button Masher at 8.10 and Runaway 4 at 8.50. Have a great night, everyone. Please be sure to take care of yourselves and each other. When you do have to go outside, make sure you're wearing a mask. Make sure you wash your hands. And when you do go outside, do so safely. Have a great night, everyone. We will see you all next year. Take care. Yeah.